If you are looking to remove objects from videos with the help of AI, then maybe this Rose model can help you out. In this video, we are going to install this Rose locally and I will be showing you how you can accomplish this object removal from videos very easily, all local, all private. And you can see that for instance here, the camel's shadow has been removed. In the second one, the man's shadow has been removed and also the man. If I go down, then this boat has been removed and so on and so forth. There are a lot of examples which they have shared on their Hugging Face model card and I will drop the link in video's description. So let's get started. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and also consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I am going to use my Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very good price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out as that helps a lot. Okay, let's go back and our environment is created. Next up, let's maybe git clone the repo of rows. And I'm just going to put git clone here and we should be seeding into that repo. Next up, let's install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. This is going to take a few minutes. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. That is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce. And you can check the link in video's description too. Now coming back to Rose, while it installs all the prerequisites, let's talk more about it. So Rose stands for Remove Objects with Side Effects. It tackles a tricky gap in video object removal, nuking not just the object but also the telltale traces it leaves, like shadows, reflections, lighting spills, translucency bleed, and mirror images. Because real paired videos with without an object and all its side effects are rare. The researchers what they have done is they have synthesized them with a 3D renderer that lets them train at scale across varied scenes as you can see in all of these examples. Now after that, the thing is the core idea which they have come up is reference based erasing feed the whole video so the model can reason temporally and spatially about where the object influences the environment then in paint those regions rather than just patching a single frame and that is what is happening in all of these examples and that is quite impressive i'll be talking more about its architecture but for now let's carry on with our installation and meanwhile everything is installed now let's launch the gradio demo from the root of the repo. And the first time when you run it, it downloads the model as you can see, and it is based on VAN 2.1. It is using its variational auto encoder, some text encoders from Google. So not only it is using Chinese models, but also uh, what a blend of East and West really here. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. Meanwhile, maybe let's have a quick look at the architecture. And I will make it very easy, so don't worry, don't, it won't be boring. So Rose, as you can see here, is a diffusion transformer video in painting model with an extra head that learns to predict side effect regions. During training, both the original and edited, which means object removed clips are variational autoencoder encoded into latent. Latent simply means where model can work and naked eye cannot see it. And the difference produces a ground truth difference mask that highlights side effect areas. And then we have a small MLP difference mask predictor, which is trained to recover that mask from features. And its prediction is concatenated into diffusion backbone at several blocks. And that is where it just denoises and fills it. And that's pretty much it. So at the end, the uh, diffusion transformer handles actual synthesis supervised by usual diffusion laws and that's pretty much it and if you want to learn more about what exactly this diffusion stuff is latent just search it on my 
channel with keywords and don't forget to become a member and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it and there you go the model is now downloaded let's access the demo on our local host at port 7860 there you go so this is what it loads let's get a video and try to uh, run this i have selected this cows video let me play it so the cow is walking this is a simple eight second video i will click on get video info now and it has extracted this image i will click on this cow i want the cow's image to be gone and so it has created a mask on top of it as i explained earlier in the architecture so i'll just go to the step three i'll first do tracking it is tracking while it does that let's also check the vram consumption so you can see that this is a vram which is not not much really just 12.4 i would say okay i'll go here so tracking is done let's do inprinting let's check the vram consumption again so it is creeping up around just closing to around 13 that's it i think it is just staying there it's still working let's wait for it to finish and then we will check out And there you go so it took a bit of a time around five six minutes but it has done it so you see when i play the video the cow is gone there is a hint of cow as you can see but you know what i think it has done quite well i'll just play it again there you go there's a bit of a silhoot of the cow but it is gone well done okay so now let's try to select another video maybe i'll just select one of my on videos i'll just go here i'm not sure if i have uploaded any videos let me transfer one video to this server so i have just selected one random video of myself it is 29 minutes long i think that is going to take a bit of time but anyway let's play it so i'm just going to get video info let's check the nv top so you know the bigger the video it will consume more vram so my video the earlier was for around eight second this one is around half a minute okay so it has extracted stuff i'm just going to click on maybe this monitor and i will just say that is fine i will go to here i will do the tracking let's wait most of the time is taken in the in painting where i explained that diffusion stuff So tracking is done let me play this and it is tracking you see only the monitor is tracked let's wait for the imprint in painting to finish i will just show you the vram so you see it has jumped to around 21 gig of vram now cpu is also pounding memory is also overloaded gpu is being 100 percent used so all the layers are offloaded to the gpu okay so let's wait for it this one to finish just to give you an idea of time it's been almost over 15 minutes it is still running 30 percent is done so you can see it takes an hour to remove an object from a half a minute a video so i'm not going to wait that long i'm sorry i'm just going to just cancel this one you see it is just over 15 minutes now so i'm just going to cancel this maybe i will try with another video a shorter one so i have just uh, uploaded this kangaroo video this is just an ai generated video which i used for another um, stuff so let's see if it is able to do that and after getting the video information i'm just going to click on this one kangaroo i will then track it let's wait and now let me in paint it and then we will check out the actual result should be fun let me play it too actually I, sorry i forgot to play it so i'll just go up and okay, sorry just there you go so this is a video and this is where it tracks it with the mask so hopefully it is going to disappear the kangaroo the gloves are still there let's see what it does 
and it has generated the end painting let me play that only one kangaroo remains you see how good is that Actually, this is very impressive the whole kangaroo is gone shadow is there still i could select it and it would be gone too so look very very impressive let me know what you think again please like the video subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you very much